this. I almost took off there with my helicopter hat. Isn't this thing fun? <laughs> All right, enough silliness. Let's get down to math. Um, today in GMAT Tuesdays, we're looking at a particular type of math question, a problem solving question involving the phrase must be true. So often you'll see these questions will involve a lot of variables. Um, and they'll ask you what must be true based on the information that you've been given. Um, a student actually asked this question. It was a great question that came in from the comments. And so it was like, okay, let's make a video about it. Um, so there's going to be a blog post uh, that I'll put in the links down below, which you should check out, which has a lot more detail about all of this. Um, but I will go sort of at a higher level. Um, so the strategy here is um, because you are dealing with variables, you're going to be picking numbers, make sure that you pick an easy number to start with, eliminate an answer, eliminate answer choices, maybe you eliminate three, then go back and pick another easy number, continue to eliminate until you're left with one answer choice. Um, so it's a, you want to focus on speed, but also accuracy, accuracy here. You can be efficient if you're smart about picking your numbers. And so that begs the question, what to pick? Um, so it's really going to depend on the question itself and what information they're presenting um, in the question. That's going to be your guide for what to pick. So depending on whether they say numbers or integers or positive integers, that's going to be your guide for picking numbers. So just as a review, numbers, that's going to refer to everything under the sun. So 0, 1, negative 1, uh, 1 half, 0.478, all of those are numbers. Um, integers refer to counting numbers or whole numbers. It also includes 0 and negative, so negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Uh, positive integers is everything above 0. Don't count 0, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, negative integers will be below 0, negative 1, negative 2. And then finally, even and odd integers. So just this is a reminder that that does include positive and negative. So if you had even integers, negative 2 and 2 would be counted. Also remember, 0 would be counted as an even integer as well. Odd integers, negative 3 and 3. Okay, so that is our strategy. We have an idea of how to pick numbers. Now let's go take a look at an example question. Um, this came out of the official guide to the GMAT, the 13th edition. It's on page 156 and question number 32. Um, we're given this information, A, B is, is positive. So in these, at the very beginning you want to know, we want to figure out what does this information tell us because that's going to be our guide for picking a number. So if A over B is positive, a and B are both negative or both positive. And in either of these situations, you're going to end up with a quotient that is positive. So you'd have to have a negative number here and a negative number here, or positive and positive. Okay, so let's take a look at our answer choices. We're going to pick numbers. Um, and evaluate each of our answer choices as we go, plugging them into what we know um, and see what it tells us. So A is greater than zero. Okay, so if A is greater than zero, we could have, um, okay, so we have to know, is this true? Does this, mu must this be true? So I'm gonna try to disprove it. So um, if we have negative two over negative two, that equals one, which, uh, agrees with the information that we're given, but A in this case is not greater than zero, it's below zero, so we would eliminate A, because this doesn't need to be true in order for this to be true. B, similarly, B is greater than zero, same, we can use the same evaluation. Here we have negative two, um, which is lower than zero, but it still does yield uh, a correct uh, um, what am I trying to say? Like, uh, it fulfills the information that we are given. There we go. Um, if we look at C here, A times B is going to be greater than zero. So let's try um, our negative two. So negative two times negative two is going to be equal four. So that is greater than zero. Um, but I don't want to stop there. 
Let's try some other numbers that would also be uh, fulfill the information up there. So 2 times 2, that equals 4. So that's going to be greater than 0. This is looking like a good answer choice, but we'd want to continue on to make sure none of these actually work as well. So um, a minus b is greater than 0. So again, I'm going to stick with my negative numbers. It seems to yield a lot of useful information for eliminating answer choices here. So I could say uh, negative 2 minus uh, negative 1, and that's going to equal negative 1. So that's not, or that, this is not greater than 0. Um, so we can eliminate this. a plus b, so um, again, we have negative 2 plus negative 2. That's going to be negative 4, which is not greater than 0. So we eliminate e as well, and C is our correct answer choice. So try to move quickly. What we saw here is I picked some numbers here that actually were useful for eliminating another answer choice. So keep that in mind. And always just use the information that are giving you as a guide when picking your numbers. And pick easy numbers. I used negative 2, 2, um, nothing too crazy. If I were to end up, say, C worked and then E worked, I'd need to rework the the, uh, the numbers that I was picking, maybe choose something a little bit bigger um, to see if it would continue to work until I eliminated one of these answer choices. All right, that is it. Remember your strategy, remember what to pick, and you'll be able to move through these questions very efficiently um, and accurately. All right, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. I am happy to help out. Um, if you like these videos, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you'll know about every new GMAT Tuesday video that comes out. And then, of course, if you head over to gmat.magoosh.com, you can go and hang out with a lot of other friendly people who are studying for the GMAT and get all kinds of great tips and strategies. All right. Be excellent to the universe.